mum thought I was addicted. Uh, she thought I was going crazy, and uh, you know, for me, there was there was no there was no option for me. You know, I I could not just throw away something that I had just found. It was um, a trial was, was so much more than just a bike, um, and and I think my parents realised how important it was to me uh, from that event. My name is Andrew Chai. I'm a bike trials rider. I've been riding for about 18 years and trials, best way to describe trials, it's like parkour on two wheels. So um, bikes, bikes and bike trials are very specific to a sport. They, um, they are super light, they have no seat, that's probably a very defining feature. And also they, um, they have really huge back tyres. So the main thing is that they uh, use the bike to manoeuvre over obstacles. So I was born in the UK uh, and spent some time in Singapore. While I was in Singapore, um, I went to, my dad actually took me to a demo uh, and that's where, that was actually in Plaza Singapore and that's where I met Opi and Cesar Kana. So at that time obviously I didn't know who they were but these, they were doing amazing things on their bikes effectively. So it was the first time I'd seen anyone on two wheels hop around their front wheel. Um, and I think there was a guy hopping around on stage on his front wheel and it just made me think about doing something like that near my school. It was, um, it was definitely something that uh, resonated with me at that point. I just never seen anything like it. And um, it just made me think what was actually possible on two wheels. Um, things that you know, I never really thought about before. So I remember after that day, I dreamt about doing it for my school <laughs> when I was about 12. <laughs> I dreamt about being able to hop on my front wheel in front of my school so I could impress the girls that came out of the gates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I remember getting a phone call when it arrived and I was just like, Dad, we, we've got to go. Like, we're going now, like now. What, what time are you home? Like, we're going. <laughs> and I just got a crab. I've heard what? my friends and family have said about it during that time. So there were people who were around me during the time that noticed a, a very significant change when, when I got the bike and, and when I found trials. So people were saying as soon as, soon as I found a bike, um, I didn't care about my toys because that's what I used to care about. I used to care about my toys, my Hot Wheels, my, uh, you know, my pets and all these things. And then suddenly the bike came along and that's all I talked about. Apparently I didn't talk about anything else. I was just talking about my bike, my bike, my bike, my bike. <laughs> so there was no end to it. So people realised that change in me. I don't think I realised it myself, obviously going through it, but uh, that's, that's what happened. Yeah. Friday night, starting at 10 p.m., riding in the middle of the city, uh, so Orchard Road and things like that, right in city centre. And we will ride to about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I remember trying to convince my parents <laughs> that this was something good for me to do. <laughs> trying to convince them to let me go out on a Friday night <laughs> to go and ride with these gangsters or hooligans as far as they were concerned <laughs> in the middle of the night um, and, and doing that. I think, um, I mean, obviously the, the major hurdles were transportation, like how we would get there, but my friends were all very resourceful. They had like a, a man with a van who was more than happy to just take them there and take them back and, uh, and that, and, and yeah, and eventually my parents came around to it and, and they were like, yeah, okay, um, just on Friday, no other day of the week, so we try to, we try to, we try to stick to that, but that, that's what I, that's what I, I did for, for quite a while, it was, it was definitely something I looked forward to. Second year into trials, uh, I, had, I had one of my bikes stolen. Um, and my parents, uh, my mum especially, took it as an opportunity to, to stop me from progressing trials. <laughs> Almost telling, telling me that enough is enough and, and you, know, you shouldn't be riding anymore, you need to be focusing on your studies. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very much what the conversation was. And I remember that like, losing the bike was one thing. I was already very, very upset about that. But coming home to my mum not, not wanting to let me continue my sport at such an early stage, like a year, and she was like, that's enough, you know, you've, you've done enough damage. I, I, I didn't stop crying. I think I, I must have cried for two or three days straight. I wasn't, I didn't leave my bed. I was just throwing it out. And I'm not, not young, you know, I wasn't like a baby crying. I was quite, you know, I mean, I was 13, 
14, but you know, I was, I, I really wanted it. It just, it just showed me how much I actually really wanted it. And, and it was, it was crazy uh, to, to think about it now, even that, that I actually went through that. I, um, I mean, there, my mum thought I was addicted. Uh, she thought I was going crazy. And uh, I, I, you know, for me, there was, there was no, there was no option for me. You know, I, I could not just throw away something that I had just found. It was, um, it was, I re, I, 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 yeah, I, I think it was, it wasn't just like a toy that you could just throw away. You know, trials, trials was so much more than just a bike. Um, and, and I think my parents realised how important it was to me uh, from that event. Came to London, and I didn't know anyone in London. Uh, and um, I just started Googling, so I, I would go to an internet cafe, try and, try and find people to talk to, try and find, um, so I was searching trials, bike trials, and I stumbled across a trials forum, actually, that's how I found trials forum. And I put on, I made myself an account, put on a little pose asking about riders. Well, someone got in touch with me, they were saying that they were, they were actually really quite close, and um, I was, I was excited like that. That really got me going. I mean, that, that just felt I felt so at home almost straight away just just from that contact. And obviously, and he would. I mean, I didn't know him, know him. I didn't know him at all. He was still a stranger as far as I was concerned. But, <laughs> but the fact that he did trials and that I did trials and that we were on the same page straight away. That just that, it didn't really matter. That I didn't know him. I just we we knew what we would do when we would meet, you know? We just, we were going to go and write, that's all, that's all we needed to do. And so, <laughs> so it was very simple for me. So as soon as he got in touch, he told me that there were a couple of other riders, so it was Jimbo, Dan, Mike, and these, these three guys. Um, and we met up for a ride locally in Gants Hill. It took us around to a few more local spots, much more than I would have found myself. When you finally get something after you know, really trying for such a long time. I think that really was something that um, kept me going. I, it really got me excited about trials, and it just it just felt like such a great achievement. Even though, and it's not by anyone else's milestone. It's just not even by anyone else's criteria. It's just your own criteria. Like you just really want to do something, and, and and you do it. And that that for me was that was really rewarding. Yeah, that, that I really enjoyed that as as a, as like a twelve year old, thirteen year old. I'm sorry, just like. I never really considered training. I just considered it riding. I was considering it as something I just really enjoyed doing. Um, on hindsight, I was training because I would do the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> but it was, it was all just down to me wanting to do something that I couldn't previously do. Um, but I would be out on the bike straight after school most days. Uh, weather was good in Singapore, so we never really had this concern of not being able to go out on the bike. Um, but I was, I was out um, pretty much every, every day when I got the bike. At weekends, I'll be flat out, like, I'll do a full day out. 16, 7, 6, I don't know, a full day, morning till night. <laughs> yeah. Bigger, trying to, trying to do things that, um, pushing my limits, really. I think that, that was, that was it more than anything for me. It was, it was being able to do something that you know was something you couldn't do before. And that's always what, what we were going out to try and do. So I was always trying to do something that was new or that was more difficult than before. Trials played a huge part in what I did at A-levels and even before uni. So tuning subjects at A-levels, uh, physics mainly, uh, that was definitely something that, you know, I could relate to and I could relate to because of my bike you know i would relate to pressures and forces and momentum impulse and these things would just make sense because we use these terms when we do trials so introducing physics at a level stage they, they were already terms that i understood and i was very aware of how they they work in in real life um so modifying the bike making things lighter optimizing trying to drill holes in places where you shouldn't be drilling holes in or or knowing where to drill holes in you know that that was all part of that was all part of optimization all part of engineering uh, application you know and and these were all things that i was already doing when i was 12 13 trying to 
you know, improve the weight of my bike or reduce the weight of my bike. Uh, I went on to doing mechanical engineering at university uh, and that was a natural, a natural progression for me as much as I, I remember really, really struggling with my personal statement and trying to decide what I wanted to do. Um, and I was, I mean, my parents were pulling one way that I had to do medicine, I had all the subjects to do medicine. But I knew, I knew that, you know, there was a reason why I, I picked those subjects and, and it was about finding the right course that fitted me and I, I decided on mechanical engineering. You know, and when I, when I picked it, when I applied for it, went to one of the interviews, it just, it just made sense that this, this, this is it, this is what I was supposed to do. Um, and now from that I, I've got a job at Rolls-Royce, I'm working as a stress analyst and um, I'm working on engines and, and crack growth, like uh, it's, uh, it's just, you know, it's just from the bike to engines and it's the same, the same concepts. So in terms of travelling to meet different riders, uh, we've gone for trips to Spain, to um, Viborg, Denmark, uh, strange, strange places. <laughs> When we went to China for the World Championships, um, you know, we had a group of, we got in touch with some locals in China uh, who, who were happy to, you know, take us around their hometown, take us to local riding spots, effectively give, give us a tour of a, a city in China we've never been to. And all we had to do was just turn up at the train station. They came, they picked us up in their car, we drove us around to our hotel, checked us in, managed to book local hotels because we knew the locals, you know, wouldn't be able to do that as a foreigner because, you know, you can't actually book local hotels um, without, because they don't take credit card, they don't take international credit card, um, they only take cash and uh, actually, um, and you can't book them online, you just, you just have to turn up and book them, so how would you, you know, you wouldn't know, so being able to navigate all of that with the help of trans driver um, and meeting up with everyone there, so I think in China when we were there, I think there was a ride uh, that had about 20 odd riders turn up to it and they, these were just locals in China and they all, they all were very welcoming, they all, it's just friends all over the world really, that, uh, that's something that people don't realise they could do with, with an activity, it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a side effect of, of doing something, it's not something I thought I would have, but um, I do have, yeah, it's, um, it's like friends, they're, they're not just, you know, not just friends that um, you would just say you would talk to, friends that would actually help you, that would support you, and that would help you do stuff, achieve things. Um, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's, that's quite, that's empowering, that's, that's really valuable. Yeah, really valuable friendships that have actually crossed. Yeah. You know, friendships that I've really, uh, that I really, I really treasure, uh, just through, through the sport, so. Um, and his friends outside of work, outside of studying, they, they're all from you know, different backgrounds, they're all doing different uh, occupations. So to me, that, that network is, is invaluable. I don't, you can't, I don't think you can put, you know, I don't know how, I, how to describe it. How it's brought me to where I am today, I think job, the, the way I've chosen my career path, you know, I've put it down a lot to trials and maybe that's something that doesn't come out a lot. But it, you know, I, I've definitely been able to um, shine at interviews because I've I've been able to bring up this aspect of my life that's so ingrained with my life, and, and I use it to support why I'm doing what I'm doing today, and that's something that you can't, you know, you you can't teach that. <laughs> it's not it's not something you can learn. It's just something that happens, you know, with with people who do it. So I've got a. A huge desire to to want to stay involved with the trials community, uh, even though I'm still working um, full time. But it's definitely something I want to contribute. And how how quite I can contribute does depend on the the needs of the community. But it's it's something I'm working towards and within my capability in terms of what you know what I'd like to try and give back. With the resources online, you know, YouTube has been amazing, Facebook, Instagram, you know, you'll be able to follow trials riders. Um, YouTube in particular, I think there are quite a lot of trials tutorials now. So very basic moves, like just things like balancing on a bike, which is probably the first thing you want to learn anyway. Um, and if you could pick up little moves like that just by yourself, that, that will probably be the quickest. And you don't need a trials bike, you know, you can do this on any bike. So these are basic. These are really basic bike control skills. I wouldn't even say they're trial skills. It's just like being able to balance on two wheels without moving, um, being able to rock a bike back and forth and things like that. Um, 
they they can be done on on any bike uh, any bike that you're comfortable with you you don't need a trail specific one you know if you find that you're struggling with the youtube section or you're you're struggling trying to do that by yourself then uh, you know you could think about going to a local trials academy uh, they have facilities for you to borrow a trial specific bike for the day you don't need to buy one you just need to hire it for the day try out a few things see if you like it how I, I started um, was with a local local community, really. So people getting grouped together, four or five of you who who could be interested in starting and all starting at roughly the same time. And that that to me was was great. You you can gauge each other, push each other around, um, you know, try and get better, compete with each other friendlyly, of course. I think if if you weren't interested in it, you would find out quite quickly. I think with trials, you, you need a lot of patience to just get to progress a little bit. And um, if you lose interest during that time, then you're obviously not interested enough. <laughs> so that, that, I think that's really, that's really all there is to it. Try it, see if you like it. If you, if you enjoy being in control of your bike and your body, you would realise that you actually enjoy this.